Hello and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. I am Octoax and this is Ratchet and Clank. In this episode, we're going to explore the rest of this plant novellas. But first, we're going to look at this vendor. This guy, in the HD collection, I don't know why, but he's always so fucked up. I mean, he, he's not in focus. He's squished. Whatever. We're going to buy the Parasitar. Which is a very cool gun. I use called the barbecue maker-ish type stuff. Town pants. Okay, let's go up in the sewers to begin with. Uh, by the way, I have decided uh, the last episode was like 15 minutes long. Uh, what the hell? Camera, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? Okay, I have to just change... Camera. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So, yeah, the last episode was like 15 minutes. I think I will have to make these episodes longer and put them out less frequently than I first, first imagined. Um, because it's less editing, less job for me to do, and stuff, I can just leave the computer on while it, like, toggles and uploads and stuff. But, let's just stop for a moment. I have to stop myself all the time, because there is another gold bolt right up here. Isn't that just wonderful? We got two already. It's, it's, it's episode two, and oh, we already got two of them. That is incredible, Gen J J Jadis and Lentilman. That is a new form of speech I have never tried before. Okay, goodbye, sir. Okay. Oh, shit. What was that? What the ha Camera, just work with me. Oh, it was one of those spinny dudes. Spinny dudes. These platforms, why are they here? In a sewer? Does not make sense. You are you are quite quite the predicament that that doesn't make sense. I don't know man. I have no clue. Oh god. Uh I've been watching The Walking Dead again. I tried to like half half a year ago. Try to start watching it. I got like five episodes in. That was like, no, this is way too emotional for me. But I picked, but I picked it up and tried to watch it again. Very recently, like four days ago, and I am now at the beginning of season three. So no spoilers in the comments below. I don't want none of that. But oh shit! But like I can say I kicked the no. I fucked up. How could I fucked up? I did kick my nightstand at one point because I got mad at a certain character who may or may not have done stuff or gotten eaten or something or other. Which, which just got me so mad. Got me so mad. I cried a little bit too. So I stopped watching that night because I could just I couldn't take it, man. I couldn't take it. But yes, The Walking Dead is very emotional, and a lot of my friends have advised me to watch it, but I haven't for some reason. What the hell is this dude? I did put on subtitles, by the way. Yeah, right. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. I haven't noticed. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? <laughs> he hasn't got enough bolts. Working Duh. people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. For what? Really? Okay. Thank you, sir. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Indeed. I want to try that. That's, uh, that looks real fun. This is the 
ship radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long. Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Damn. Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know <laughs> Captain Quark? I doubt Skid it. McMarks. Always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he, he was like Krause. the I've idol stoner. So did you see? Did you see the beard, the goatee? It was like the idol stoner. And he was like talking like this, dude. I should do a whole episode where I talk like a fucking stoner, man. It's all a conspiracy, man. Uh, Illuminati and stuff, dude. Oh god, they're gonna come after me because I have revealed their secrets. All of Illuminati are stoners. It is confirmed. I did get to slide down a sewer pipe. I do like that. Okay, let's explore the planet, which is a little more fun, and fry up some mofos. Some more fucking robots. There is another golden bolt on this planet, but I cannot get it yet. I have to come back for that, and I will. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. <sighs> yeah, so there's... But I have to get two items, which I get very late in the game, actually. So I will have to come back for that later. That is why I have this, this chart next to me. That I have a reminder what items I need and when I am going to get it. Get it. Uh, so those are things that things things that are going to happen. Boom, boom, boom. Get all of them bolts to buy new weapons and possibly more ammo because that is probably needed. Ow! Oh, yeah. I have four lifts. Uh, oh, there's a little. Yeah, it's basically in here where the golden bolt is. Um, what was I saying? All oh, right, I have uh, four health basically, which gets restored by those things. Uh, and your health can be upgraded twice. But you need a lot of bolts to do that, and I don't know if I need it, because I am pretty pro at this game. I mean, as I said before, I ain't no noob. I ain't no noob. Okay, what's happening? Okay, blowing up the bridge. This is basically... Ugh. I've noticed in editing, I say basically a whole lot. What is that about? Why do I say it so much? I have no clue. I mean, why? I, I was about to say it again. This is scary. I don't know why, because I don't say it a lot. Otherwise, it's just when I'm recording that I'm like, yeah, basically it's like this and basically that. It's like my friend always, uh, when he was going to say stuff in school, like uh, answer a question or something that, that the teacher had. It was like always relative. It was like uh, weighing on his chair and be like drumming on the table with his fingers. Like, yeah, I mean, it's all relative. Uh, depends on how you look at it and stuff. There was nothing there. And I mean, I guess your your speech does change depending on the uh, the uh, what's it called situation. And I guess I am just trying to talk more clearly and more civilized I guess when I do these videos I don't know why though because I'm not the civilized in my speech otherwise which is like because I have me and my friends always talk English as may some of you may know probably I live in Sweden which is like what the hell don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. oh it's the dude from the cutscene mercenaries torturers assassins I I'll tell you anything here Take my info box. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not okay. assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> Lion, are we, Ratchet? Hey, it's Captain Quark. 
Does this ever happen to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside. He has no nose. Your equipment isn't functioning properly. And way too to big of a butt chin. Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, Al. <laughs> Or just fighting grime. <laughs> Come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's Robo Shack, it's quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means yeah. Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion if we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Maybe. Well, this planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Come well, on. thank you. you. Us, uh, right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. More like chairman shitliness. Ah, the puns. That was a good pun. Okay, I'm just going to get all of these boxes full of bolts because you really need. I've tried to speed run, not this game, but the second one because I played the second one most. Um. And it's it is impossible because you have to take your time to collect bolts so you can buy stuff, buy good weapons and stuff, which is like very crucial to doing good in these games. Which is buying well in this game is buying health, the health uh, upgrades and the weapons. Um, otherwise, this game is pretty. You you buy your weapons, you buy your health upgrade, and that's it. In the future games, you do upgrade your weapon by how much you use it. No new weapons? No. Okay. Maybe we get them on the next planet, which we are going to next. We are going to... Which, which one are we going to go to first? Um, it's either Aradia or Kerwan. Hmm. Which one did I write up first? I wrote, I wrote up Kerwan first. So let's go to Kerwan. Visit Al's Robo Shack, which is a dude. It seemed like a fucking nerd. What a nerd, man! I fucking hate nerds. Nah, dude, being a nerd is awesome. I promise thee. I do promise thee. So yeah, this is Metropolis. This is one of the. Biggest places that you actually do come back to in the Ratchet and Clank series. You come back to this planet, I think, on four different occasions in four different games. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's it. Uh, and this is, as some of you may know, the first level in the demo disc. So this level I know as good as the back of my hand. And I've heard these dialogue trees since I was a little youngling. So, and back then I didn't know English, so, so it's very, I was about to say basically again. Uh, so it's very, uh, as learning a new a language later in life, which you've actually heard, I realized that you just remember noises from... Uh, from these game, from the especially this game, um, and not the actual meaning of the words that they're talking about. Oh uh, yes, we got I this. Got oh, the blaster this is a good gun. Let's buy some ammo for it too. That is wonderful. What the hell is that? Was it like honking in the background? I just a bunch of dicks. So yeah, this is the. Basically, just gun, 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 die, foes, shh, pyroid, I'm not gonna call it by their names. I'm just gonna call it by the, the this basic. I'm. I think I'm going to call this the flamey gun or something. I don't know, but I think we can. Yep, yeah, zoom and then kill the dude, and we get a lot of lots of bolts. From this dude. Look at that, over 500. Let's bomb these bitches. Boat. Oh, yeah, I'm not missed. Ah, me. Die, dude. 
You didn't die by a bomb! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I am very scattered minded this this time round. So what was I talking about? I was talking about Yeah, basically. Damn it, I said it again. <laughs> about I was talking about um noises instead of the meaning of the words. Which, if you do have your mother mother tongue and then learn another language, you probably do get what I'm saying. Because um, you probably heard people talk English before you knew English, and it just sounded like... Um, which, it, which it does. I mean, all languages that you don't know sounds just weird. Jag menar, om jag börjar prata svenska här nu så skulle jag liksom hälften av inte fatta vad jag pratar om. See? That just sounded like you sleepy dooby 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 for some of you. Oh, hi Al. We saw the infobot. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I, I build robots. robots. I myself am not a robot guy, I prefer. Haha. Nerd. Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your infobot announcement. There's a glitch in his mouth. Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain there's a, Quark since we There's a glitch in his mouth. Commercial. Look at it. Say, do you run on standard XP18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Match. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Money, money, money. Do I get? Yes, I got barely enough. Hey, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. It probably hurt a lot. Well, actually, no. It was a robot. Scratch it. Am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Actually, Clank would be more of an android, wouldn't he? Because, I mean, robots just do the things that they're programmed for, whilst androids think for themselves. So yeah, Clank Clank is an android. What a shocking revelation. And also, now that we got the helipack, we can fly for short amounts of time. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. If I do say so myself. No. Let's not do that. Oh. Am I full on ammo and everything? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's weird. Okay. What are we gonna do? All oh, right, we are going to bolt heaven soon. I do remember this quite fondly. There's a place right up here where there is a lot of bolts, but it's like it's like an optical illusion because it looks like more bolts than it actually is. It's like I don't know how much it is together, but it's not that much as it as it's uh, made out to be, which is like kind of dickish if you ask me. Um, which guy? We take the pyrocitor. And uh, one thing that I do not like about this game is when you you uh, choose weapons, it doesn't pause the game. It does that in the follow-up. So in the heat of battle, if you want to change your weapons, you can't. Or you have to be very quick about it, which is like kind of hard. <sighs> so that is one of many things that they bettered in the other games. I'm gonna blow up this bridge too. I see what you're doing. I'm taking a blast. I do collect a lot of bolts though. For this early game. You do get just the right amount as we saw. I just had had enough for the helipack. No, let's not do that. Also, this these guys take three normal hits or one or one normal hit and a slam to take down. Look at this shit. Boom and boom. Dude, this level is like I you know this is the back of my hand and oh my god, there is a wall of boxes of bolts. This is what I was talking about. So many bolts, so little time. All the riches, give it, give it to me. 
But uh, yeah, it was like 700 or something. I mean, it's not that much as you let out think. And if you time your jump correctly, you can. No. Oh, yeah. Get up here. Which is even more riches that you could possibly imagine. Actually, just singles laying around. Wouldn't that be awesome? Just walking down the street. Damn it. Walking down the street and just pick up. And just money is drawn towards you. That would be so cool. You could buy everything. I, but I guess the economy would be even more fucked up than it already is. Um, so. No, actually, if you, you were the only one who could do it. That wouldn't be such a problem. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Let's fly up here and we see another golden bolt. It's incredible. Also, as you may notice from the last episode, I am trying to make clever little one-liners for all the the uh, gold bolts. Um, I think... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this one. I guess I'll figure out early, later. But the wall jump one that I found, probably got to call that like jumping jack flash. No, no wall jumping jack flash. Yeah, probably something like that. With all of the puns of the puns. Basically, all of them is going to be puns. Like, boom, go, boom goes the bomb love. I thought that was kind of clever. Um, so, I mean, I'm trying to bring you some original content because I know there are so many Let's Plays out there. I mean, god damn, it's like... Let's Plays are like the biggest thing on YouTube right now and it has been for like one, maybe two years. But there's a difference between Let's... I see this, at least. There's a difference between Let's Players and gaming YouTubers. Like, I don't see... Take the most famous gaming YouTuber, PewDiePie, for instance. I don't see him as a Let's Player. Because he doesn't play games. He just... Lol, troll around like a little fucking... I mean, he used to do Let's Plays, like... I know he did uh, Heavy Rain and Last of Us, but that was kind of a long time ago. Now we're just trolling around and I do not enjoy that content. I mean, it could be fun, but it's just random. <laughs> I was supposed to talk about how Let's Players and Gaming YouTubers are not similar, and I just came down. <laughs> it turned around to just be me criticizing, criticizing PewDiePie. I mean, which I guess is a lot of YouTube. Really, a lot of people are jealous of him, but I actually actually used to enjoy his content very much when he when he did the the let's plays and the and the occasional random video, which were kind of funny. But now it's just he's using his editing skills to try to be funny, which is just no. Also, I think I can do the trick. Look at this. <laughs> he falls to his death and screams. That's hilarious. Um, and such. Also, um, I love to talk about topics, but I'm very bad at uh, making up topics that I can talk about. So if you do have a topic that you want me to discuss with myself, because I do that a lot in my own time as well, um, please, please write, write that in the comments so that I can just babble on about it. Uh, because it it gives me something to talk about as well as well as well as not giving you silent commentary. Because <laughs> I mean I'm still a noob at this and uh, and I mean okay bye dude. And before we take that I'm just gonna finish present and basically I'm there I said it again and basically um, I I lost my train of thought. I am not a noob, uh, I'm still a noob, and I still don't know really how to do this, but I'm learning as I go on, and let's for the little infobot. Greetings, Executive Chairman Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must schedule? Must planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. 
idiots. On you, and as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. I love that he has like a robot cigar. The wreck is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Burn! You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. Sure. <laughs> now you're talking. So we're going to plan Eudora. After a while, I guess. I don't fucking... Um, what was that kind of? Oh, it doesn't really matter because now we're getting another gold bolt, and this is one of the most clever placings of a gold bolt in this game. We take a leap of faith, and then we just soar down here. Uh huh. Uh huh. That took me like months to figure out. Damn, that was so bad. Yeah, I can talk about that uh, the first time I did play this demo game, which I said before is was with this level. I couldn't fucking figure out anything. I couldn't figure out how the hollow pack worked. So I couldn't get past those boxes right after we talked to Al. Um, until one morning before I went to school. Uh, I played this with a friend I had back then. And uh, so I, I like just played around with the controller and accidentally made that so I did it again got on the boxes and continued on I called him and this was like seven o'clock in the morning yelling I figured it out dude I am so good at games man and he of course screamed at me to shut shut up okay maybe he didn't say shut up but you know this was like first grade or something uh, uh, but, yeah, he did get very angry at me, and he yelled at me at school. And his mom also kind of yelled at me. <laughs> That's a good way to round off this episode of Ratchet and Clank. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.